Hey, Math 30-2s. Today we're going to continue on with Venn diagrams. We did the bit yesterday, so part two of the Venn diagrams. Let's look at example one. The Venn diagram displayed beside us shows the results of a survey of 100 students in a high school regarding movies they watched in the last two weeks. P represents the number of students who watched Perfect Rebel, C the number who watched Chill, and D the number who watched Dazed. Part A asks us how many students watched Perfect Rebel. All right, number of students who watched Perfect Rebel. Well, if I look for that number, it's right here. Only. Number who watched only Perfect Rebel. All right, so that's the key to that one. So that number would be three. How many students watched Perfect Rebel? So if we're looking at how many watched Perfect Rebel, that's this whole section right here. So that would be 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1. Or 11. How many students watched Chill and Dazed? So that's the intersection of Chill and Dazed, the intersection of this. Alright, so 6 plus 2. I'm going to have to add that up. We know that's going to be 8. When you watched Chill or Dazed, well, that's the union. So here's a number that watched Chill, and here's a number that watched Dazed. So you would add all those up, 68 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 17. Or you could say, I know there's 100 students, and only 2 and 3 did not watch Chill or Dazed. So I could add all those numbers up in the shaded section, or I could simply say 100 minus 3 minus 2. So your choice, 100 minus 3 minus 2 will give us 95. I think that's a little simpler math. How many student watched, students watched all three films? Well, that's the intersection of these three circles. So that would be six students. What does the number 2 outside of the three circles represent? So what does this number outside those three circles represent? Well, that would represent... The fact that two students did not watch any of the three movies. And part G, what does the number two inside the circles represent? So what does this number two represent right here? Right? What does that number two represent right there inside the circles? Well, that would represent the fact that two students watched Chill and Dazed intersection, Chill and Dazed, but not Perfect Rebel. All right. Awesome. Let's go to example two. In each of the following Venn diagrams, shade the region indicated. A and B. That would mean A intersect B. A and B. A intersect B. Well, the region of A intersect B would be this region right there. Awesome. A or B. Well, that would be A union B. So the region represents the union of A or B, so all of A unioned with all of B. Nice. If we look at part C, A and not B, so A intersect not B. How does that one look? Well, we need A and all the parts of A that are not B. That would be the intersection of A with not B. All right. And finally, A intersect not B intersect not C. So it's very similar to part C, except we're throwing in this not C part. So what would that look like? Well, again, all of A that is not part of B and not part of C intersect with those. 
All right. Beautiful. Let's go to the next page and look at example number 28. Or sorry, example number 3 on page 28. In Big High School, 185 grade 12 students were surveyed to determine which soft drinks they like to drink. We were given this information. Sabine started to organize the results in a Venn diagram, starting from the inside out and working outwards. So you start from the inside and work outwards. How do you start from the inside? We want to shade this section first. So how can we shade that section first? How can we find that number in that section first? Well, that would be the intersection of Coke and root beer and orange. Well, that's this part. 25 drank all three. So we should put the number 25 in the center. 25 drank all three. Now we're going to work from that inside outside. So the next thing it tells us is 52 drank root beer and Coke. Well, here's Coke, here's root beer. Here's the number that drank root beer and Coke. There's already 25 there. So the number that has to fit in the rest of that shaded section is 52 less 25. All right. So 27 goes right here. Explain why she placed number 27 in the region immediately above 25. That's why. All right. 52 drank root beer and Coke. So 52 should equal root beer and Coke. Well, there's already 25 there. Therefore, 52 minus 25 will give us a 27. We're going to put directly above the 25 or finish off the intersection of root beer and Coke. Use similar reasoning, it says now, for part B to place numbers in the regions to the left and the right of 25. So if I want to place a number to the left of 25, I'm going to read this thing that says 43 drank Coke and orange. 43 drank Coke and orange. Well, I've already got 25 in the shaded section of Coke and orange. So if I've got 43 there, I want to say, well, that has to be 43 less 25. 43 less 25 gives us the number 18. So 18 should go to the left of 25. And to the right of 25, I've got this statement. 57 drank root beer and orange. Well, now here's root beer and orange, but this is also part of root beer and orange. And that got pretty black. So this section in here plus what's in there. All right. So we're going to have to say 57 drank root beer and orange. Well, there's already 25 in there. So 57 less 25 gives us 32. So 32 is going to have to go right here. All right. Let's look at part C. Continue the process until numbers have been placed in all the regions inside the circle. So let's continue this process. We've got three statements left. 92 drank root beer. Well, if I look in this section, if 92 drank root beer, I would say 92 subtract all the ones that are in the circle. 27 plus 25 plus 32. So 92 subtract 27 plus 25 plus 32. That gives me 8. So 8 students drank only root beer. 92 drank root beer. So you add all those up, have to add up to 92. I read this statement. 115 drank Coke. So 115 have to be inside the Coke circle. In the Coke circle, there's already 27 and 25 and 18. So I go 115 minus 27 plus 25 plus 18. So 115 minus all that gives us 45. So 45 students drank only Coke. And last but not least, 100 drank orange. So if I look at doing the same procedure here, 
100 subtract all the ones that are already in orange 18 and 25 and 32 so 18 plus 25 plus 32 so this gives me a total of 25 so 25 goes right in here great so we continue that process let's go use this completed Venn diagram now to answer the rest of the questions D determine the sum of all the numbers inside the circles so let's do that first find the sum of all those numbers inside the circles you can add all those up use your calculator to do that work if you do that properly you come up with the sum of 180 it then says if this sum is not equal to 185 determine the number of that must be placed in the region outside the circles therefore 5 must be placed outside the circles so back up in our Venn diagram we have to put five students didn't drink any of these all right back down to part E determine how many students drank only coke so if you look up at your Venn diagram only coke we look in that and I think we have the number 45 there how many students did not like to drink any of the three drinks well we just figured that out right above five students did not like to drink any of the three drinks and how many drank coke or root beer coke or root beer you have to add up all the numbers in the coke or root beer group so add up all these numbers right here that are in coke or root beer coke or root beer so you add up all those things shaded in yellow or we could say 185 which is the total number of students subtract the two numbers that are not in the shaded section right either way add up everything in the yellow or add take 185 and subtract 30 from that so that number should be 155 awesome all right let's try these questions one through nine bye for now